Hello, in this video I'll show you how to get this fastless inside your tracks on the right side in Reaper, which I think it's super cool. By default, Reaper shows you these fats inserts at the bottom of the track. I'm not super fan of that. As you make the track smaller, you're not able to see many of them. And as opposed to this beautiful thing where you always see your fats in there and you can even add, even at the smallest size, you still have stuff available in there. So it's always your fats are always available, which is something I really like. By the way, to enable this, you right click anywhere in an empty field, right click here, show effects inserts in DCP. So this will make it so you can see these effects inserts. So now I'll show you how to customize any Reaper Seeds theme to have this on the right side. I'm going to be following along this tutorial that you can find in the description below. So you can see how that looks like. All right, so in Reaper, we go to options and show Reaper resource path. In here, we will go to the color theme folder and we will find the theme that we want to adjust. In this case, we are going to adjust the default theme. Now we need to unpack this theme. And the way we do that is by renaming it. So you're going to rename and just before it says zip, you're going to add a dot in here and you press enter. I will show you this dialog to use zip or use this one. So you want to use zip. Now you can uncompress this and you will get a folder with these two items. Inside this folder, you will see the rtconfig.tets file that we need to open. You can use any tets editor you like. In this case, I'm gonna go with Sublime Tets, but even the default works fine. Now we can begin with part one of the mod. In here, we need to find this line of code. Uh, it could be line 203, or you can just do a search for this. So let's actually do a search. I have it right here, fine, and I got it. So now we need to find a few lines below that. There should be a line that starts with, yeah. So search for set main sec. And I believe it's around set main sec. Yeah, this line right here. So 222. In here, we need to insert a few empty lines below just to make space and then paste the following code. So let's add the lines. So right after this, set main sec, we added some space. And now we can copy this code and paste it in there. So let's copy that and paste it in here. You will see the mod starts here and ends the, in here. Now that should be it for part one. Out oh, in here you can, um, you can tweak some parameters, for example, Changing this from 100 to 200 will double the length of the fat list. Those are things you can tweak. Also, number of columns. Um, I actually have it set to four in here. I, I like that in, when it's minimum, you have all these columns. And now for part two, you can find this line, which is this one. Macro, yeah, this one. A few hundred lines below, there should be where it says end macro. So let's search for that. And macro. Yeah, around here. So it says, insert a few empty lines above that to make space and then fade, paste the following. So above end macro, you will add a few lines in here above this one. And you will paste the following code. So let's do that, paste, that's it. So this is the part two of the mod and it ends in here and then it says end macro. Um, in here, there's nothing you can tweak, but in part one, there, there's the stuff that you can tweak, like in here. So that should be it. Now we can save this, control S, and then we close this and now we are ready to repack the theme and it's pretty easy. So, you know, the two items that we uncompress, this we need to compress again. So just select compress and this one, you can name it back to how it was, or you can even add a, your own name. The important thing here is that it, it needs to be called reaper themes dot, dot reaper theme zip. 
like this. When you click OK, you can choose Use Reaper Theme Zip, and that should be your new modded theme. So now when you load this, you should be able to see that all your effects inserts should be located right in here. Now you may notice that it looks weird, but that's going to entirely depend on the theme that you're using. For example, in the default theme, there's this thing that happens that you can fit by going into the folder and then searching for TCP effects arm, I believe. Yeah, these files and then grab all of these. Let's start with TCP effects arm and then just delete this, repack the theme and then when you import it again, it should fit it. However, if you use the default Reaper sets theme, you can go to the blog post and you can find the modded theme right there. So you can just download and use that. And like I said, every theme is different, but the main images you want to tweak in case you want to tweak are this one that you can find in the blog post as well. That's how I made the smoke seeds theme to have this kind of layout. I modified the theme images. So I had this square looks. Before that it was like round thing. And this is much better. If you use this thing, I can send it to you. Just let me know. Hope that's helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye.